guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a panda palette update on my NYX Ultimate Bryce Shadow Palette. I'm very excited to show you guys where I am and I'm very excited to show you the looks that I have done. I don't know how many I'm going to show you because they were pretty much the same. Yeah, I think I have a few to show you. So if you do haven't seen a panda palette before, it is created by Amber F and I will have her linked down below. She is amazing and she have done a panda palette for quite some years now. I have done it for quite some time as well. I think I have done one, two, three, four. So this is my fifth panda palette, I believe. I will insert a picture from where I was last time and then in the end, I will have a deer show or cool. Yeah, and then in the end, I will have some kind of deer show where, with my progress from the beginning until now. So, yeah, I'll insert the picture from last time now. And this is where I am today. And yes, there's a pan and I'm so, so excited. I have kind of been digging into the shadow, but, and there was kind of two reasons for it. One was that I wanted to see how deep the pans are. And second of all, I did this pink look and it kind of took over and um, yeah, I used a lot of pink shadow in that look. <laughs> it was very, very fun, don't get me wrong. And um, I don't really care. <laughs> I love having fun with makeup and I definitely had fun today as well with this palette. So I'm just really, really excited to have a pan. And I think I will take a break from pink um, and maybe go more into the green and yellow. And my yellow shirt uh, is March. Yeah. It's March, it's green and yellow month for me, so I really, really want to work on those. I do bullet journal and my kind of colors for this month is yellow, green, um, this kind of rusty color and then a kind of a mauve purple color so maybe I would play with the, those colors over the month I think those colors really works great together so I think I'm going to be um, creating looks with those colors I still don't have a job because I'm not well enough I haven't recovered fully so I still can wear these very very bright colors but I have considered changing up my panda palette when I get a job because I don't think an office job will appreciate that much color. <laughs> I think I will be working on it this year but I don't think I am going to be panning it. Um, so I think when the time comes, I don't know when, but when the time comes I think I will incorporate a more neutral palette. I may be smaller palette so that I can pair with this. Yeah, I hope that makes sense, right? So I don't really have more to say about this palette other than that I'm still really, really enjoying it and I'm very excited to be changing up the color scheme in my looks because um, I have done a lot of purple and pink. I'm still panning a purple shadow in my Paulina palette. So I will still, still incorporate some purple, but the pink and I, we on a break. French joke. If if you know, you know. That's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on my next update. And I do tons of project pants on my channel. I'm really, really excited about what is going on in the spring summertime because I have a lot of project pants lined up for you guys. And I'm really, really excited about it. I hope you guys are going to follow along my journey this year. I'm really, really excited to get into makeup and being more myself again and yeah. I really love to get use out of my collection. So I hope you guys are doing great and until my next video, take care. Bye.